Placid Way is the leading medical tourism company that helps you compare and customize the most affordable treatments worldwide. My name is Marina, I come from London and I would love to share my story um, of my son Leo who was born on 26th of November 2003. Um, I would like to share my joy when he was born. As a mother we all have high expectations what our children are going to become and we're living for that day. Until to the point when Leo was two and a half years old I noticed that he was different than other children. So we looked for a help. He was non-verbal, he was uh, not active boy as you see children of the same age. So we started to uh, make inquiries to professionals and then at the age of four years old he's been diagnosed with autism. We've been told this is a lifelong condition, that nothing can be changed, we just need to live with it. So. We were desperate, we were crying ourselves, we were screaming for help, but over and over again we were listening to the same answer, there is nothing can be done. I've been making inquiries all over the world basically, until I came up with uh, Neurogen, because they came up with a different, um, a different approach of treatment. Since this treatment wasn't available in the UK, I took bold encourages to take my son out of the country. After living in a long denial, one day I just woke up and I asked myself, he's a special boy, he's been given to me for a reason, I, I'm the best person to look after him. Before the treatment, Leo's sitting tolerance was for 10 seconds only. Um, now it has been improved uh, up till six hours a day, five days a week. Leo, before the treatment, uh, I mean, we've been told from the teachers, where, from the school where he used to go, uh, you know, we've been told simply, uh, he's autistic, what can you do? And now after, after receiving an ABA um, session, after the sense of therapy, we've been told that he's a quick learner, so we're coming from, uh, we came a long shot. Leo's motor mannerism have uh, reduced dramatically. He used to wriggle his fingers in front of his face all the time, constantly. Uh, now they are completely absent during ABA session. So he can sit for six hours as quiet as this without moving his head and the fingers. He couldn't hold a pen before in his hand. It was just dropping down every second. Now he writes perfectly. He holds the pen firmly in his hand and uh, he knows uh, how is his writing and um, it's so good. I couldn't uh, be more happy. He can work, um, whereas before he couldn't recognize any, any part, uh, now he can point, uh, now he can point um, when asked he can point where his, where his nose is, where his arm is, where his uh, head is. If anywhere he has a pain, so he will point uh, with the hand uh, direct to the pain um, part. Part. Eye hand coordination has been increased, improved very, very much. Now he can easily catch and throw the ball without missing it. Also, his uh, body balance has improved uh, 100%. He couldn't uh, stand on one leg, whereas now he's ice skating on one leg. So it's really, really exciting to see all this. So when I take Leo to the playgrounds, uh, it is amazing to see um, he's, uh, he's not bothered about other, other children playing his, uh, like any other children will do screaming and do all sorts of things. Uh, he will, uh, if his favorite um, game he will be busy uh, taken by somebody else, he, he, he can easily wait for his turn, for example, to uh, either to slide or to do other activities in there, whereas before he couldn't, he couldn't wait and he would start closing his ears or either run away from the place, whereas now he understands turn taking. His learning abilities uh, has increased, now he's uh, explored to many different kinds of activities, 
um, for example, numbers, he can um, understand the number sequence up to 50. He can uh, solve easily alphabet puzzle and uh, he can show different um, approach to the different uh, objects. For example, if you uh, put lots of pictures in front of him and give other ones, he can associate with the uh, picture one which is on the table, for example. A banana will go with monkey, milk will go with, with the baby, uh, pillow will go with bed, those kind of activities, and he's doing very well. Um, some other things uh, he's doing with ease, uh, for example, he couldn't uh, put the car belt uh, he, he, yeah, yeah. on his own or close the car door, well, whereas now he's doing everything on his own. Finger pointing is also when uh, he's going uh, much better, uh, I would say actually perfect because uh, that's the way he communicates when, when, uh, when he needs something, say for instance he can pinpoint exactly what he, with the object that he wants with the, with the finger, with the index finger, uh, or whichever other activity he has to do, for example, I don't know if he needs to go to the toilet, he will, he will point to the toilet and uh, if he needs a drink he will point to the glass. Uh, whatever, whatever the need is, it will be specific and precise by pointing with the, with the index finger, say, I want this, I want that, I want the other. Now he can request uh, perfectly things. Uh, before he would take anything he wanted without any permission, and now he's coming and asking for them. Make sure that um, he's showing the right thing, and uh, without me um, smiling or telling him, yes, he will never take uh, the object or food or drink or anything else. He's very independent now, dressing himself upper body and lower body. Well, before he he didn't understand, uh, for example, he could wear upside down clothes and uh, front and back. yeah, exactly front and back. Now he can dress himself, button himself, zip up and uh, everything. I'm not even entering to his room while, while I can make him to decide whichever cloth he wants to wear. He will pick up one for him and dress himself. Now, for example, whereas before I used to, used to oh, shall we say, almost prefer to be aloof in his own, in his own bed or aloof anyway, or away from, uh, from us, now actually seeking our, our company um, by coming, hugging and uh, seeking for attention. Um, even even uh, by, by looking straight to our, well, in my case, uh, uh, in my eyes. He prefers to be with us all the time, even if he's playing his favorite games or watching his pictures or doing anything, just he, he will never stay on his own. Uh, whereas before, he would be mm. quiet in his room, wouldn't care if we were there, no, nice constantly with us. In fact, constantly. he, he, bring, he brings, uh, often brings uh, more than one object which he knows he will need, like. Uh, like his drink or his book, his pictures, whatever it is, he takes more than one object with him, making sure that he's placed in front of us because he requires our attention and presence. Constant attention. Constantly. Sometimes even too much, I should say, and we had to push him away because that's not the right moment to be with us. Very, very few times. But we're waiting for this. Uh, and we are so happy to, and it's such a privilege for me to say that. Um, before we try to involve Leo in any kind of uh, computer games or to increase his interest level but there was zero zero um, response, yeah, response. Um, once I tried after the stem cell therapy I tried to introduce one one game on iPad and since then he just fall in love with uh, with that gadget and uh, um, he can write the words on it he can play different kind of puzzles and he's really really uh, willing to learn lots of things um, on computer on iPad. Leo used to cover his ears um, constantly at all times, whether it was loud sounds or children crying or loud music. Um, after the treatment, uh, this has been decreased. Um, only sometimes he will use uh, the habit, sometimes will remain there, but we noticed that he's just not covering his ears, but he will put his both fingers on his cheeks uh, just because um, when he comes with something that he wants very much, he doesn't want to hear the sound no. Uh, just to protect him, uh, himself uh, from not hearing no. Uh, yeah. Something important really happened. When I was uh, taking him for ice skating activities, he would prefer to, to, to skate on his own without anyone being there. Now, 
he's um, willing to go and mix in a crowd and uh, go in between people and skate. Um, he likes to slalom between them. Uh, yes, and mm. um, I, I noticed he's more enthusiastic when the crowd is there than when there isn't any any crowd. Um, before he would run from one room to another room constantly, all day long, wandering one minute here, one minute there. And if we would tell him, Leo, sit down, that would be only for one minute. Now, if I tell him, Leo, sit down, he can stay for one, two hours, as, as much as um, I requested. Uh, food habits has been changed completely. Um, before he was stuck on few things, such as pasta, pizza, fish fingers, uh, cucumber cheese. Now, everything I cook, he wills to try. Sure. He tries, and even if he doesn't like, I will say, Leo, you need to eat this, we have nothing else. He will sit quietly and finish his meal. One very important thing I would like to mention also. For example, um, if we had a drink or food and we left the table somewhere in the house, he will definitely go there, look at us, take the plate and bring it to the kitchen. So it's not, it's not some obsession that um, you will see. It's a good mannerism. Because he saw us after the drinking, eating, we need to go to the kitchen and put all these things. Uh, even sometimes he will open the dishwasher and try to place the plates in the right... Uh... In the right order. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. yes, <laughs> so all these things. For example, um, when I give him his cloth, uh, t-shirts, underwear, uh, trousers, socks, I'm saying, Leo, you need to organize this. He will walk with all these things, open his wardrobe and put them one by one in the correct shelf. Um, when he was going to the toilet, he was messing up around, so uh, it was very, very hard for me to explain that you need to hold in the right direction and so on. So after the stem cell treatment, he's so um, um, organized <laughs> when he's going to the bathroom. Um, it never happened a day of mess, basically, and uh, he's... Um, and it's such a relief for a mother going clean and, you know, going after them. Yeah. After him and clean up all the time and uh, keep repeating the same things over and over and uh, having the impression that when he sits he's gonna get it. So this is, this is simply what happened. Uh, and now he got it. I need to mention one thing. When I'm in a supermarket with him, I will say, Leo, we need to buy this, 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 this. So he knows exactly which aisle he's going. He's picking up the right thing, bringing and putting into the basket. Or even if I, if I forgot to take something, I will say, Leo, we forgot to get this. Can you go and bring it for me? No matter how big is the supermarket, he knows which aisle he will go there, pick it up and bring it to me. Always the correct item. He will never even let me open so the car boot. So he opens that. He, he, yeah. he will wait for he will First of all, when we're coming out, he shows the car key. So I need to give him his hand for a while. He's feeling very, very good. We're coming out, he will give it to me. Um, after the shopping done, he will open the car boot. He will take the heavy trolley and try to help him put it in a boot. And then he won't give me a chance to close the boot. He will do everything by himself. Um, sleeping night. habits also, I can say that he used to sleep three hours, restless. Uh, once he was awake, there was no way to put him back. Uh, during this six month period, he had complete eight, nine hours of sleep. Even if he wakes up at night, which he wants to go to the toilet, he will come immediately and sleep back. For example, if he sees daddy is watching TV, I'm talking to my mom, um, or to my sister, he will come with his homework. He will sit next to me, he brings his pen, he's, um, he's doing his alphabets, his numbers, and then he shows, ah, like look at if I'm doing correctly, if there are any mistakes. He's um, almost putting in front of my face, please come on, uh, um, I need your attention. Speech, um, no speech before, no vocalization before, now everything is like in a request manner. If he needs to ask something, it will go, ah ha ha. Or if he says, I'm doing this, he'll say, ah ha ha. So we understand when he's asking, making a request, which would, comes with a question mark, or the other way, he says, I'm doing this, may I? Uh, this is there all the time, all the time, constantly, as if he's communicating with us. Well, I'm a musician myself, and I try to involve him into the music. Um, literally was not possible, though he likes very much classical music. So when I was trying to make him sit quietly in front of the piano and say, Leo, you need to play something, he would go flapping his hand around the notes. After the stem cell treatment, I said, Leo, all you need to do, go one by one with your finger up. You know, you need to um, um, play the scale. And he did it in one go with 
right hand then with the left hand and then he did it synchronized like uh, left and right I was right. really really shocked yeah, yeah, because before all was all over like this yeah. and now he's you know or even I try to do the skill like this do re mi fa sol fa mi re do and he goes after me after he looks uh, 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 you know, he goes like this you know I try to make him sing to make a sound but he will go like ah but he's making an effort to say to say or sing something which is gonna come definitely the, the way he's changing under the rhythm, that's amazing, you should see. For example, if he's slow, he goes he, like this, he, 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 he will make some kind of... And, and then important. when the music goes a bit fast, you see he, the way he's going under the rhythm. And then he goes... When, basically, when you have no chance, no more chance, you're only hearing there is nothing can be done, nothing can be changed. You say, this is my last show, I need to do it as a parent. I don't want to blame myself, yes. saying, oh, I could do it and I didn't do it. And luckily, we found the Neurogen, yeah. which was meeting to our... Um, this was the unique place that could answer to all my one million questions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get instant access to all of our latest medical care videos. Enjoy your free pass to quality global healthcare.